Let's go. Oh. Minute spray. <laughs> uh, if anybody's got anything they'd like to add to the few moments of science, uh, after a few moments, be welcome to speak. <laughs> and, and so did gelato. And I'll start this off. Like I said, I've known a lot of guinea pigs in my life. And gelato was cool. Didn't squeak much. And anybody who have, has ever had guinea pigs knows that they squeak a whole lot. So that means a lot. Didn't squeak much, didn't leave uh, much to clean up. And uh, he was a joy. ridiculous hair and when I first got him I thought I was the only one who could ever love him because he was so ugly because <laughs> he was like this really weird coarse curly ridiculous looking guinea pig he didn't even look like a guinea pig compared to the other guinea pigs and um, when I went to go finally buy him after I'd saved up enough uh, the people at Petsmore had quarantined him because he had uh, ringworm which is like a little guinea pig rash and I waited three weeks to buy him um, because they wouldn't sell him to me. And I went in every week and checked on him and visited him. And then finally I bought him. And thank you. Um, and as I, the year and a half I had him, he grew, his hair grew ridiculously and parted right down the middle. And he looked like a little walking toupee and it would dread <laughs> if I didn't cut it. Um, and. <laughs> He kind of did this pompadour thing on top, and if I didn't push it back, he couldn't see. <laughs> he was just ridiculous. Um, <laughs> and he uh, used to try to get with Lint Trap. That was cool. Lint Trap's my bunny. That didn't ever work out for him, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and I am sad that he got sick, but I am very glad I got to have the three weeks that I was taking care of him to bond with him. Because we would sit and watch movies together, and he would take his medicine like a champ, and I think it made us closer. Because when I would take him to the vet, he would run to me and nizzle on my arm when he got scared, and he started purring a lot for me. Not because he was feeling better, but just because I think he wanted me to know that he was happy that I was taking care of him. It's really smart. And um, I don't really know this. I really, really loved him. Don't tell my other furries, but he was definitely my favorite. And I'm just glad he's not suffering anymore. Anyone else want to say anything? Little man was the most screwed up looking creature I've ever seen <laughs> in my entire life. He looked like something out of J.R.R. Tolkien book. Uh, on top of that, he was, as Jessica mentioned, a rapist. <laughs> uh, <laughs> At least he tried to be. And, uh, <laughs> Attempted right. <laughs> he was but, more uh, like a. But we loved him very much. He was the sweetest, cutest animal I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, when I first saw a Little Man, I thought, well, I'm dating a crazy person. <laughs> Look at all these damn animals. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> And I hated Little Man the most. You hated him so much. He's when like, of all your animals, this is the stupidest one. I was like, I can't believe you have this stupid, damn Peruvian rat. <laughs> but Little Man grew on me, and he grew on me, he grew on me big time. Uh, I remember helping her, helping Jess trim the, uh, trim his, his out Disgusting of control dreads. hair. Yeah. Uh, and uh, watching him do the Little Man hop oh, for the first time. Oh, the Little Man hop. Uh, when he ate cilantro, uh, he would do this retarded, jump up in the air and kind of twist to the side, <laughs> hop, and uh, yeah, yeah. I think that I, was the one. I, that I think that was the first <laughs> time I fell in love with him. Uh, we're all going to miss you very, very much, little bit. and uh, I hope that uh, we're greeted by a choir of angels going. <laughs> That's a little bit noise that I made when I saw him every single day. Rest in peace, little buddy. Um, gelato, whenever I would put his food in there, he would never, he would start to eat it out of the bowl, 
but he would always, every single time, regardless of how I weighted the bowl, or regardless of what material the bowl was made out of, he would work until he had flipped the entire thing over, mm-hmm. when they would every push time. it out of the way, and then would eat off the ground. Like, he would not eat out of a bowl. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You know, I could put rocks at the bottom of that bowl, and he would just spend all afternoon trying to tip the bowl over so he could eat his food. I don't know why. And if you didn't fill his water every single day, <laughs> I mean, he had the biggest water bottle, and he would drink all of it. All of it. And then he would, like, shove you out of the way the second you put the water bottle back to drink some more of it. Yes. And his... <laughs> They're still little man. Yeah, he was. That's actually how I knew he was sick, because he wasn't drinking so much water. I... He's the most personality of any little little creature I've ever dealt with. And um, thank you guys for being here. Okay, and then, do we have a shovel, Nick? Okay. Okay.